Hey, this is Kathy McGaffey Cooks for You, and thank you for stopping by my kitchen. We are going to do something today that will save you money, and that is making our homemade oat milk. Now, I just started doing this because I got tired of spending like $3.50 for oat milk, and all it is is ground up oats and water run through a sieve. How hard can that be? Now, I'm using some high-end oats that I get. This is under $10 at Costco, and it's just huge. It's, you know, all got all these good labels on it, blah, blah, blah. So I'm using this great oatmeal, and then one of my favorites to buy in the store is a, it's an almond milk, but it's a toasted coconut and almond milk. And so I get free coconuts. I ride my bike along the road and pick up all the coconuts. This one, this one's gonna have um, water in it. This one won't be ready, but I was just showing you that I get free coconuts. Coconut is not cheap when you buy it, um, like at a health food store. Don't use the stuff in the baker aisle that's full of sugar. So you would wanna use like a raw coconut, raw shredded or something like that. That being said, let's get into the kitchen and start making this amazingly cheap oat milk that you guys are gonna love. Let's start by toasting our quarter cup of coconut. Coconut is optional. It'll add a nice nutty flavor. Let's get it a nice golden brown, and then we'll put that in. Into our blender, we're gonna put four cups of water, and then one cup of your oats. You could toast those two and try. I put in two dates. Next time, I would soak those first. A little salt and then our nice golden brown delicious coconut here. We are gonna blend this for 30 to 60 seconds. Don't blend it too long or that oatmeal will get slimy. And then the next step is just to run it through a sieve two times. Now you're gonna see here that there are my dates. See those dark things at the bottom? They didn't really grind up. Um, that's okay, I don't really like really sweet oat milk or soy milk. Here we are on my second run through. You do this to get a little bit thicker milk. Now, the store-bought stuff has guar gum, carrageenan, all sorts of thickeners in it. This is going to be thinner and that is okay with me. Oh, and look at this deliciousness going into my recycled container. Yummy! So when you're ready to eat it, give it a good stir and shake because um, sometimes the sediment all falls to the bottom. And then you're just gonna give her a try. Now, you don't have to use the toasted coconut. The dates I found did not grind up well, so I would soak your dates in some warm water first to get them you know, just kind of mushy and so they'll grind up better. Um, you can add any kind of sweetener, honey, sugar, whatever you want to this, if you like sweet. I never buy the sweetened stuff, so I like it like this. Or you can add vanilla, you can add any kind of extract you want to it, and that would be delicious. The world is your oyster with this. I find it amazing, and with the, the oatmeal and the coconut that was left over, you know what I did with it? Half of it I put into a smoothie for my husband and I, and the other half I gave to my dog for dinner. Why not? Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks for You. Please subscribe below and I would love to hear from you and let me know what you think of your oat milk that you made.